So let's look at this problem. We are, this is uh, z is x minus y, the difference of two random variables. Again, these are classic problems. You are given the joint density function of x and y. We want the density function of z, where z is x minus y. So the procedure is uh, the same. You, uh, it is easiest to start with the distribution function of z. As we will see, so z, this is by definition z less than or equal to z. Uh, z is given to be x minus y less than or equal to z. So basically we need to see where to, so you need to draw the line. So this is x minus y equal to z because uh, when x is, uh, when y is 0, x is z. And uh, when uh, x is 0, y is uh, minus z. So this is minus z. And it's a line at 45 degrees. So x minus y less than z is this region to the left of the line. Uh, so we could integrate along a strip in the x-axis. x goes from minus infinity to this point. Uh, so this would be x goes from minus infinity to uh, z plus y and y goes from in general minus infinity to plus infinity fx y x comma y dx dy so notice the in inside integration is with respect to x uh, so the density function of z is the derivative of the distribution function uh, so we need to use the uh, we need uh, so here, the first integral is easy because these are constant limits. So this is minus infinity to plus infinity, the derivative of the inside integral uh, with respect to uh, z. And that's a, uh, a bit, uh, you need to be careful because the limits have got uh, uh, the variable. So we could use this uh, rule again. It says if a function has got uh, the limits or functions of some variable and we want the derivative with respect to that, basically there are three terms. You take the derivative of the top term, uh, multiply it with uh, the integrand re uh, where you replace the uh, variable with the top limit, minus do the same thing with the bottom limit, and the third term is the, <coughs> the variables remain the same. You take the derivative with respect to the integrand. So if you do that here, uh, the derivative with respect to the top limit will be 1. And when we replace the into the variable of integration, you get minus infinity to plus infinity. 1 multiplied by fxy, z plus y, comma y, <coughs> minus the derivative of the bottom limit, which is constant, so 0, no contribution. Then limit stays the same take the derivative of the integrand with respect to c. Integrand is not a function of c, so that term is also 0. Basically, this is the answer then. And if x and y are, <coughs> if x and y are independent, we can simplify this a little bit. Uh, this relation then becomes minus infinity to plus infinity, fx of uh, z plus y, comma, fyy dy. And this is actually the convolution of fx of minus z with uh, f. If you want, you can also write it in, in this form. And uh, if, if they are not independent, you need to leave it uh, at this stage. Uh, in other words, uh, that would be the right uh, place. And now suppose, as a special case, of this is suppose x is positive and y is positive. In other words, the uh, joint density function is uh, zero if uh, either x is negative or y is negative. Okay, so in that case, <coughs> uh, this uh, region, because the x and y only uh, occurs in the first quadrant. Uh, so of course, z being x minus y, you have uh, two cases uh, uh, <coughs> where x is greater than y or x less than uh, y. So in this case, of course, uh, z is positive and here z is negative. So we'll consider these two cases separately. 
Uh, so the, this diagram will have uh, so two cases when z positive and uh, z negative. Remember the line is still like this. Uh, so this is the line x minus y equal to z. Uh, so here y equal to So x minus y equal to z. I think this is the positive case. That's the only reason I rewrote. So notice z is uh, here. Uh, y is x is 0, then y is minus z. So if z is positive, at x is 0, y is uh, minus z. Uh, so this is minus z. And when y is 0, x is z. <coughs> All right, so <coughs> uh, we have two cases, z positive and z negative. So if you remember, x and y are positive. So you are only looking at the first quadrant. If I draw this line, look at this line. When uh, y equal to 0, x is z. Uh, so the way I have drawn uh, z is positive. So this is the case z corresponding to uh, uh, z positive. And in the other case, the line will the the x x intercept has to be negative. So the line has to go this way. So I believe this would be the case when uh, uh, z negative. Right. Remember, we are only interested in the first quadrant. So FCC, we would have uh, two cases, Z positive and uh, Z negative. So for Z positive, which is here, you are, you are integrating only over this region. So you take a strip like this. Uh, so here, X goes from 0 to uh, Z, <coughs> Z plus Y, and Y goes from uh, 0 to infinity. So 0 to infinity fx y x comma y uh, dx dy and uh, so this is z positive and similarly here uh, here you integrate only over this region. Right? So x goes from of course same place 0 to z plus y fx y x comma y dx dy and y goes from uh, not from zero only from this point onwards because this is all where you are going to integrate here you are integrating over this region only the first quadrant so just here so this point is of course minus z because you put x equal to zero y is minus z so this is minus z to infinity. This would be a capital F of z. So this would be the distribution function. And uh, so this is for z positive, this is z negative. So when we take the derivative of this, which we can quickly do from here, uh, that would be, I'll just write down the answer from here. So this is 0 to infinity comes in here. So the top limit, the derivative with respect to z is 1. So that's fxy, the z plus y comma y dy. This is for z positive. And here, uh, you have to do it twice. The derivative of the top limit is 0. Derivative of the bottom limit, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, plus 1. When you substitute this, Remember, this is the variable here is y. So when you substitute into y, that's anyway 0 to 0, so no contribution. So this will become minus z to infinity. The der then we take the derivative of this whole quantity with, with respect to z, so that's 1. Then we substitute this limit into the variable, which is x here. So we get the term as z plus y comma y dy for z negative. So now of course you can uh, substitute uh, further if x and y are independent, 
and then you uh, so this form this will uh, simplify as the product so this will be <coughs> if x y independent here this will be integral 0 to infinity of uh, fx of uh, uh, z plus y f y of y dy for z positive and this would be minus z to infinity fx of z plus y f y y etc. Now you can, so this is for z negative. Now you can uh, substitute the actual values and uh, uh, specific problems and simplify. Thank you.